Muslims are concerned about possible retaliation. And as you heard Kate mention, the Jewish population is on edge as well. Ron Campius joins us now. He's the Washington bureau chief for the Jewish Telegraphic Agency. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, what are you hearing exactly about how this Jewish grocery store was targeted? Do you think that this was a random attack, or do you think we'll see more? Uh, I think I don't think it was a random attack. I, I don't know if we know anything about planning yet, but certainly this was a uh, this is, it's a large supermarket. It's called Hyper Kosher. And that's how it would be translated in English. It's kind of an obvious. Uh, target for people who want to uh, gather attention to themselves and who want to, as, as your reporter was saying, who want to, Jews in Paris not to feel secure. And that certainly would be a goal of uh, Al-Qaeda. And we've already seen attacks, so we're probably going to uh, see more. We heard earlier from someone who lives in this famed Jewish neighborhood, which is basically shut down right now. Um, I want you to listen to how this person described the situation for Jews in France as we speak. Okay. This is a very brotherly neighborhood. Plenty of nationalities, plenty of religions, which is why there is a Jewish supermarket. We have all religions here, and it works out really well. We can see that there are some crazies who dream of killing each other, and we're stuck in the middle. Neighbors, residents, ordinary citizens. We talk love, we talk fraternity, we say stop. And I'm sure we'll win in the end. How would you describe the current situation for Jews in France? There's a large Muslim minority, as, as we've heard, uh, and there's a resurgent right-wing movement in France. So where does this community fit in? You know, Jews have been in France, obviously, for centuries. They feel very much part of France on the one hand. But on the other hand, there is like a levels of insecurity that are rising. As your correspondent pointed out, a lot of them are leaving for Israel. There are about 600,000 Jews in France, 7,000 alone left for Israel last year. That's 1% uh, of the population. So I think they, they feel torn. They feel torn bet between that culture and, and their security. Just a few hours ago, we learned that the Grand Synagogue of Paris, the city's largest place of Jewish worship, uh, has closed down for security reasons. It marks the first time since World War II that uh, it will not host services for Sabbath. Was that a mistake? What do you make of that decision? I think it's, uh, you know, it's hard for me to say whether it was a mistake. I know that here in the United States, if something like this happened, the advice to the community would be to go ahead and worship. Go ahead and prove that you're, you feel secure and safe in your surroundings. But if, 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 uh, if danger, if the sense of danger has reached such a point that you can't even do that, then perhaps the wise thing is not to, uh, not to attend services. So what happens next? What changes do you think uh, or do you expect to see in this Jewish community, in Jewish communities across France and, and even Europe? Because it seems like security is being stepped up in, in various capitals uh, we're hearing. Um, will this be seen as just another incident or do you think this is a sign of, of things to come? I think it's a sign of things to come and I think what Jewish communities are going to be asking for is just greater protections, more cooperation with the police. There's a reluctance in some European countries to cooperate uh, too closely with the Jewish community for various cultural reasons. In France, it has to do with sensitivities about keeping the state and religion separate, both in the sense of cooperating with Jews and in the sense of, of profiling Muslims. Uh, but there's going to be demands from the Jewish community to find a way around those, those issues and increase security for the, uh, for the communal institutions. What do you make of, of all this new information, these developments in this story that was taking place today? Just your reaction to what you've seen and heard. Well, you know, like it's just like, uh, like these Jews in France were going out to pick up uh, food for the Sabbath, because the Sabbath starts on Friday night, that's what I do. That's what a lot of Jews across the country do. We go, we, we buy challah, which is the traditional bread you have for it, and you don't think twice about it. It's just one of these routines. You do not think of it as something that should be dangerous or insecure. And so I think every, every Jew around the world who's following this will, will have that uh, insecurity insinu insinuated into his psyche, and that's, that's not going to be good. All right, Ron Campius, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us here Thank you. on this show.